there. So you may have heard that developers love timescale blogs, but sometimes watching a video helps. So we're starting this series I'm lovingly calling THDO, or Too Hard, Didn't Optimize, where I'm gonna give you a very condensed version of one of our blogs, starting with this one. Real-time analytics in Postgres, why it's hard and how to solve it. Postgres is great for transactions, but real-time analytics, mm, that's where things slow down. Queries run against fresh data, but Postgres wasn't designed to handle high ingest rates and fast analytical queries at the same time. Materialized views, well, they help with pre-compute results, but they don't auto-refresh, meaning your insights are always a step behind. What's the fix? That's where Hypercore and continuous aggregates come in. Hypercore automatically optimizes how data is stored, keeping recent inserts in a row-based format for fast writes and shifting older data into a columnar format for efficient analytics. That means that when new data comes in, it moves quickly. But when you need to analyze trends, queries run way faster without extra compute overhead. And what about keeping those results fresh? That's where continuous aggregates step in. Instead of recalculating everything from scratch, continuous aggregates only update with new data, meaning you can get up-to-date results instantly without bogging down your database. Why does this matter? Without this, real-time workloads in Postgres slow down, queries become expensive, and your insights lag behind. But with Hypercore and continuous aggregates working together, Postgres can handle high ingest, fast queries, and fresh analytics all in one system. So if you want more details about making real-time analytics work in Postgres, the blog has it all. And if you like this video, leave a like or a comment so that we know that you want more. Hope this helps. Bye.